The Minecraft community has way, way too many SMPs, where they all say they have the next big SMP idea that's gonna take over Minecraft YouTube. However, in reality, these servers end up being, uh, pretty atrocious. But today, me and my friends Carl and Biggie stumbled across a server that was so unplayable and so disorganized that it led to us having a absolutely horrific experience. I bet you you've never seen anything like this SMP, and things ended up getting, a uh, a little bit crazy. I was having a seemingly uneventful day, and I was mindlessly scrolling YouTube instead of doing something productive with my life, when I saw a video in my recommended that said they had the next big SMP idea. Now almost certainly knowing that clicking on this video was going to be a waste of my time, I still decided to do it anyways. I, I really, I really can't explain it guys, like I just have a bad habit of clicking on things. To my surprise, the video was only 15 seconds long. And uh, if you're saying you have the best SMP ideas since the Dream SMP, uh, I would expect it to be a little bit longer than that. But I still gave it a chance. The Armor SMP is looking for new members, so why not somebody like you? Welcome to the SMP. Whenever you kill a player, your armor tier goes up. And whenever you die, your armor tier goes down. Wait, that's it? Not gonna lie, the video didn't really get me gassed up to be a part of the next best SMP, but uh, I was still a curious man. So I joined their Discord server, and I was immediately greeted by the application wall. For those of you who aren't really familiar with the Minecraft SMP space on YouTube, basically almost all servers you'll join have an application requirement where you have to make a 30 to 60 second video with your voice and show your personality, la 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 la. From the owner's perspective, this is to ensure that they're getting the best possible members. But usually these SMPs get a lot of applications that are less than ideal. But most of the applications on this SMP were actually halfway decent. So me, Carl, and Biggie actually had to put a little bit of effort in if we wanted to get accepted. However, coming up with a good application idea was harder than we thought. Because on one hand, we needed to make sure to conceal our true identities. We didn't want any kids recognizing us. But we also needed to make it decent enough so we got accepted in the first place. So after over an hour of brainstorming, we arrived at our final plan. We were all going to make an application video together. I was going to go undercover as an e-girl named Sydney, and Carl and Biggie were going to pose as my younger brothers. And then we were going to say that we've edited for big YouTubers, managed high pixel servers, and a bunch of other stuff that would make us look amazing. Then we'd hope that these admins would take our claims at face value and let us in. So with our plan set, now all we had to do was make the application. But it turns out that I happen to work with two of the biggest clowns in North America because this took us entirely way too long to film a 60 second application video. Bro, I'm cooking right now. Oh my god, what are we getting married? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. For the love I of god, Carl, I stop. Get in position, Carl. Okay, I'm in position. Oh, you mother... <laughs> Oh my god, I'm actually like babysitting at this point, bro. My name is Flippo, right, you guys ready? Can you so guys act like me. normal humans for two minutes? Alright, Carl, you're the third brother, what are you gonna say? I'm an adopted black British man. Oh my- This is my stepsister, she is very nice, very good at Minecraft, I promise she added it for big YouTube. Okay, Carl, final lines. Yeah, mate, I'm um, Sydney's adopted brolic black British brother. Uh, I'm also here. I would just love to get in the SMP. Oh, my. All right. Oh, I, yeah, I, man. I, After about 30 minutes of screwing around and uh, getting absolutely nothing done, I eventually just decided to ask my members only Discord server to see if any of them would be willing to do some voice lines. And luckily, my guy Fox Yolk came in clutch. Shout out to my mans. And also, Become a channel member today if you want to join the Discord server. And while I was extremely tempted to use Carl's original voice lines, we needed this application to be somewhat believable. So unfortunately, Carl's lines didn't make the cut. But after we finished recording the footage, got all the voice lines we needed, and I generated the girl AI voice, I sent it all off to Biggie, and he edited up our full application video. And after about 30 minutes, he was done. And I'll let you be the judge of how it turned out. Hi, my name is Sydney. These are my two brothers. Um, I really want to join Armor SMP. Um, all the people there are really cool and I would love to get to know them. I've been playing for 10 years. I've done plenty of building projects for a high pixel. I've also edited for creators like Tommy Innit and Jack Manifold. Hello, I'm Sydney's brother. I've been playing Minecraft for 11 years. <laughs> Bro, I've you sound so dead inside. <laughs> and I've worked on the management teams for a few SMPs, such as the uh, Bliss SMP. And I'd really love to join the armor SMP because I love to meet new people and then uh, I think I'd be a <laughs> very good 
contribution to the server. I've also helped my brother edit for Tyrad, and was also a head admin on the <laughs> SMP. I really think this server has the potential to be extremely big, and I would love to be part of the community you have all built. I can't wait to hopefully see you all on the server. <laughs> the enhanced American Psycho clip, bro. <laughs> Sad. Now we all thought it was pretty hilarious and given that it was edited in 30 minutes It was honestly pretty good, but I wasn't so confident that this SMP that was serious about content creation would find it as amusing But we decided to roll with it and we sent it into the application chat and waited for an answer uh, <laughs> We didn't get accepted sorry to everyone who applied Almost all of the applications were great. Why does that seem like a personal attack? So yeah, we got rejected. Turns out we weren't good enough to be on the armor SMP after all. But this isn't where our story ends. No, it got a whole lot more interesting from here. See, in our application, we said we edited for Tommy Init, Jack Manifold, and Tyrad. And while I don't have Tommy Init or Jack Manifold in my contacts list, I do have Tyrad. And if there's anything that couldn't be more true in the 21st century, is that if you want to change someone's mind? The answer is clout. So we were 99% sure that if we invited Tyrad to the Spall Creator SMP, these kids would switch up so quick and whitelist all of us despite rejecting our application. So I hit my guy Tyrad up, informed him of the situation, and he said he'd be down to help us out. However, Biggie and I quickly realized that this guy is probably the least reliable person on planet Earth. We waited in a voice call for two hours just to have him not join. Oh my god, where is my man's at? <laughs> Come on on now what are you doing our window was closing as everyone was losing patience with us but luckily the admins were distracted with other matters in the discord server that it gave us enough time to get tyrat in because finally the next day he joined our call bro i'm so sorry bro why you got the time management skills of a of a shroom addict dude oh uh, bro it's bro it's because it's because I... all right i'm inviting you to this server bro Tyrad in the house. <laughs> All right, I told the owner. <laughs> I'm, dude, I cannot wait for his reaction, bro. Him talk. He joined, he joined, he joined. He joined. Okay. Now our plan was simple. We were all gonna join this VC. Tyrad was gonna prove that it was really him, and then he was gonna say that he wanted to make content on this server. But in order to do that, he and his three supposed editors would have to be whitelisted. How could they say no to that? But of course, this didn't go how we thought. All right, all right, let's join, let's join. What's up, Tyred? <laughs> what are you gonna say now, bro? Uh, thanks. Can we get whitelisted? No, what do you mean? Hi, Tyred. Oh my god, I actually mad respect to this guy if he rejects us. I mean, will you make content? Yeah, bro, he will. Hey, bro, let me whitelist me. Who's this random kid with his webcam on? Yeah. This call is actually a giant free-for-all, bro. I mean, for being Tyred's editor, you guys are kind of mid. Fuck no, baby. Mm, okay. Hey. <laughs> Not trying to be mean. Can we get whitelisted? I don't know. Just keep trying to, like, suss that you guys are just going to, like, destroy my server. How do we huh? destroy the server if we can't even have- I don't know. If we don't have admin permission. I probably can make a better thumbnail than Tyred. What? Shut your ass up. All right, well, I the guess we're not going to make content on it, Tyred. Okay. Damn, bro. Just when he was on the verge of not whitelisting us despite inviting Tyrad, he caved. He folded like a lawn chair a man could not resist. However, despite whitelisting us, he was still super suspicious of all of us because he thought we were gonna destroy his server or something. Even though he had admitted almost 100 other random members, he thought we were gonna be the people to mess it up. And let me point out, whenever we join these random SMPs, we will never, ever, ever destroy the server. Because honestly, that's kind of a lame thing to do. We simply join these SMPs to see if they're good or not. And whatever the experience is, we're gonna document it. And the armor SMP experience we had was definitely memorable. It was server launch day, and Biggie, Carl, and I hopped online to see what was popping. And the second we joined up, we knew it was going to be a long day. 20 minute grace kill equals ban. They just don't know how to disable PvP? No way. Oh, this is gonna be chaotic. No one's gonna listen to that. Alright, I'm on. <gasps> oh, Biggie, Biggie, Biggie! Should we, like, punch this guy to death and then knock him off a cliff? And we wouldn't get kill credit? <laughs> Bro, you might want to get your, like, other skin on, bro. Oh, yeah! All right, much better. Uh, I was- I went down the hill. Oh my god, this server actually sucks. What, is this an indestructible chicken? Oh. 
What? Bro, I spent like $10 for a server. For real. X-ray yeah. equals ban. Oh, really? I thought you could X-ray in my <laughs> This is the worst lag I've ever experienced. Holy crap. Yo, what the? Jesus Christ. Bro, he doesn't have advancements disabled. Why do I need to know that Mary has gotten iron, bro? How do people already have diamonds? What the hell? There's no animals. Wait, what account did I get whitelisted? I forgot. Oh my God. It's got a new note he's I doing. thought like this would be like more organized, but I'm wrong. Like I'm on three and a half hearts and there is not a single animal in sight oh wait biggie i can get fish if i i can't even swim i have to kill these things with a stick okay i got one fish and it's taking five seconds to perform the the death animation sneak 100 someone's already out of freaking deep dark are you dead ass bro no way how the hell is grace period almost over bro PvP is on. Oh, fantastic. I'm sitting in spawn on three and a half hearts. Hey, why like... is O Swampy right on me, bro? Wait. Wait, where are you at? Where are your cords? Is he bro, watching? What the... Is he watching you? Bro, why is he killing me? He's killing me! The owner just killed me! In the grace period? Are you kidding me? So it was apparent that this server had some minor issues. But instead of having an owner that was on top of fixing those issues and making sure the player experience was as good as possible, we had an owner that was killing his own members. This whole experience had just gotten to a whole new level of stupid. And when Carl finally hopped online, it only got worse. Bro, he's the owner of the SMP and he's killing people. All right, guys, are we all here? Uh, no farming? Is this guy for real? He just said Yeah, but you can kill people, but you can't farm. Yeah. No. Oh, kill this guy, kill this guy. Wait. Bro, he's in creative! He's in creative! What? Oh, wait. No, he's not, it's just lagging. Oh, my. <laughs> what is this? Hey, hey, hey. It's hey. lagging. <laughs> when the lag's so bad, you think it's creative <laughs> mode, bro. <laughs> Don't fucking. Oh, oh shit. This guy is so dumb. Spawn protection, spawn protection. What? Oh, no, Whoa. there's no spawn prot. Yo, we're up. Hello? In addition to the insane amount of lag, this server also had no spawn protection. And that's uh, kind of a recipe for disaster. Because the mod on this SMP grants players armor when you kill somebody. And if you could just farm unlimited kills at spawn, you could become virtually unstoppable. And to make all of this even worse, on this server if you died three times, you were banned. And it didn't take long for that to start happening. I just got banned. You got banned? Wait, I've what? been eliminated. You must be revived in order to play again. How dumb is this? Oh my god. And with the owner doing absolutely nothing about it, except uh, this one chat message, the entire server was livid. I've been killed. I logged on for one second. And with almost the entire server being false banned and everyone searching for answers, the owner joined our VC and he, uh, he banned me. What? What? I don't know why he only banned me, but luckily, Carl and Biggie were still in the call. And the owner told us why we were banned. Uh, four people have said your uh, your team was hacked. Huh? I don't even care. They said us? Yeah, and I didn't invite you because of your application. I invited you because you invited Tyred. How long ago? Because, like, two of my teammates were banned basically as soon as it started. They got spawn killed twice, and then it's like, oh, they, they're cheating? So apparently we were hacking, and that's why we were going to stay banned. Yeah, I don't know where they got that information from, but... Yeah, we were definitely done with this server. However, the next day, the community Discord got pinged, and the owner informed everyone that he was going to be selling the server. This server didn't even last 24 hours. If you are willing to buy the SMP, shoot us a DM and we will make a group chat to discuss prices and qualifications. Who would want to buy this? But to my absolute shock, someone ended up buying the server for $250. I know this because I made him an offer as a joke. And then uh, he told me the actual price and I wanted to go hang myself. Currently, the server has been renamed and is under new ownership. And I genuinely hope it's doing well. If you guys end up finding the server, which a lot of you probably are, do not harass them, do not troll them, just be a normal human being. But yeah, like, subscribe, become a channel member if you want, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.